I saw water proceeding out of the temple from the right side thereof, alleluia, and all men, whithersoever the water shall come, shall be healed, and shall say, alleluia, alleluia. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, because his mercy endureth forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O show thy mercy upon us, O Alleluia, and grant us thy salvation, Alleluia. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, that it may please thee to send thy holy angel from heaven to guard and cherish, to protect and visit, and to defend all who dwell in this, thy holy habitation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen, the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ said. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards all. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. O God, whose Son is the Good Shepherd of thy people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calleth us each by name, and follow where he doth lead who with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. New converts to the faith devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number who, those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 23, we will say in unison. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. 
Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter. For it is a credit to you if, being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you as an example, so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were, go for you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, saith the Lord. I know my sheep, and I and am known of mine. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out when he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, with the disciples, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I speak to you in the name of the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated if you're if you're standing. Most years on Good Shepherd Sunday, I ask the question, why do we need a shepherd? And my message has something to do with our need to be led through the paths of righteousness and the need for us to, to slow down in the midst of our busy, fast-paced lives. But this year, I think what emerges for me is, when I ask the question as to why we need a shepherd, it is rooted in the words of Verse, the fourth verse of Psalm 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. We understand the important role a shepherd plays. A shepherd guides, a shepherd protects, a shepherd 
provides. Psalm 23 reminds us that because God is our shepherd, we will not be in want. We will lack nothing. We will be blessed with everything that we need. Right now, we find ourselves in a situation of extreme uncertainty and understandable anxiety. The novel coronavirus has, has us tied in knots, wondering what tomorrow will bring and when this will all be over so that we can get back to normal life. Our present situation fills us with angst with the prospects that it may be a while before we are able to return to life as we knew it, where we can congregate, assemble, who gives us the things we need. The words of Psalm 23 are very powerful, especially during these times when we aren't sure what's going to happen next. These times when our future feels uncertain. These times when we feel helpless and hopeless, turmoil and desperation. When we feel like we don't know how we will go on. These times when we aren't sure whether God is really there or not, in the midst of our fears, doubts, and questions. But, because he is our shepherd, God will never abandon us. Now, the Gospel lesson for today doesn't actually say anything about Jesus being the shepherd. That's actually in the passage uh, the, the passage following what we heard today, and it's read next year, uh, in next year's lectionary on this, this Sunday. The passage, instead, Jesus calls himself the gate, through which anyone who enters will be saved. The passage of scripture that I just read comes immediately after Jesus healed a man who was born blind. Jesus was trying to convince his disciples and the Pharisees that it wasn't the man's sin or even the sin of his parents that caused his blindness, but it, was but it just was, and through it, God's fullness and power could be revealed. Unfortunately, the Pharisees just couldn't see it. Their spiritual blindness left them unconvinced, and so they kicked the man out, the healed man, out of the synagogue. Jesus followed up that incident by switching the topic to that of sheep in a sheepfold, a metaphor that they could, an image that they could certainly understand in their culture. Jesus was giving a framework for living that was focused on the limitless experience of God and not on the limitations of the physical and mortal world. By entering the sheepfold of which Jesus is the gate, one can be can both be in the presence of God and experience his fullness. They will know him by his voice, just like sheep know the voice of a shepherd. And the safety of the sheepfold is a liberation from the burdens of this world. That brings us back to Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Why do we need shepherding? Because when things in this life that attack us from all sides and we can't see, and when we can't see our way forward, we are reassured that God will never abandon us. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Right now we need a shepherd who will lift us up, take us into his loving arms, and say, and say to us, I got you. We need to feel the protection of a caring shepherd. The beautiful thing is that the psalm tells us that God will be our shepherd no matter what, during our highest joys and during our greatest sorrows. But things don't stop there. The first lesson today comes from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. The opening sentence tells us how a group of newly baptized converts devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. 
That very sentence is the first commitment that we make in our baptismal covenant. What that means is that we continue to spread the Easter declaration that Christ is risen and we have seen the Lord. He is our shepherd. Because we have been baptized in him, we enjoy the comfort of being sheep within the gate and we hear his voice. Many people are out there helping the world in the jobs, in, in the jobs and tasks that they do to help our lives function more easily during this time of isolation and quarantine. Many of us are stuck in our homes, caring for our families, teaching our children, and trying to stay safe. Even if we aren't going out much, we can spread the good news of Easter by showing how we care for each other from afar. We can continue to call each other and check up on our sisters and brothers. We can continue to meet the needs of those who are unable to get out themselves, the elderly especially, as many of you are doing already. We can continue to remind ourselves and each other that we are protected. Because, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Who is our shepherd? God is. Why do we need shepherding? To comfort us in the, when things in this life attack us from all sides, and we aren't sure of our way forward, and to reassure us that God, our shepherd, will never abandon us. As sheep in the fold of Jesus Christ, we declare that we have seen the risen Lord who came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Please stand, and let us now proclaim our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the Lord's flock and for its pastors, that they always reflect the, deep, the Lord's deep love for the people of every nation, that they live their lives with courage and find true peace. For those called to religious vocations, and for those called to minister in the world as lay people, that they respond with generous hearts to the Lord's voice. For those who feel lost and abandoned, 
that they enjoy the nurturing love and support of the Good Shepherd, and for the members of our congregation and all those who are visiting with us, that we and all those we love shepherd one another well. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop and primate, Lawrence, Geraldine, Daniel, and Bill, our bishops, Norman, our rector, Leticia, pastor of the All Saints Todos Los Santos Lutheran community, for all bishops, priests, deacons, and for all the holy people of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we, put, we pray for the clergy and people of the Nippon Seiko Kai, the Anglican Communion in Japan. The Most Reverend Nathaniel Makoto Uematsu, Primate of the Nippon Seiko Kai and Bishop of Hokkaido. For our Companion Diocese of Ecuador Central and Torit in the South Sudan, and for the continued rebuilding of our church in Haiti. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the Good Shepherd, the Good Stewardship of the Earth, Trinity St. John's Hewlett, Holy Trinity Hicksville, the Deputies to General Convention, St. Philip and St. James Lake Success, Parish Staff and Volunteers, and St. John's of Laddingtown, Locust Valley. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Donald, our President, Andrew, our Governor, Bill, our Mayor, for the leaders of the nations, for those who serve in our armed forces, and for all in authority, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widowed and orphans, and for the sick and the suffering, especially those on our prayer list, for Hyacinth, Christopher, Debbie, George, Ramden, Wilbur, Ginger, Sintra, Roy, Kim, Robert, Darlene, Paul, Mike, Robert, Samuel, Anesta, Milton, Tyrone, Alola, Harry, Alana, Christopher, Evelyn, Jacqueline, Ruth, Marie, Iris, Florence, Evelyn, Remy, David, Kenneth, Norma, Sunarine, Julie, Edward, Timothy, Randolph, Patrick, Marissa, Jonathan, and Jonathan. Are there others? Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this congregation, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth thy glory in all that we do, we pray for those persons celebrating birthdays and anniversaries this week. For Don, Adrian, Melanie, Jennifer, Kristen, Charmaine, Sen, Sheila, Caitlin, and Caitlin, who celebrate birthdays. For Mahendra and Dolly, for Peter and Anne, who celebrate wedding anniversaries. We also give thank, thanksgiving for the ministry of Father Ephraim Guruhu, who celebrated the 62nd anniversary of his ordination to the priesthood yesterday. And we pray for those visiting with us today, virtually, via YouTube and on Zoom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We offer special prayers for all who are ill with the coronavirus and for those caring for them, and we give thanksgiving for all who have recovered from it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of thy church, remembering especially Barbara C. Harris, Bishop, Anthony Checo, Priest, Gerard Solomine, Joe Sukchan, Alicia Lawrence, Jeff Cohen, Trisha Stokes, Tassan Moore, Chappelle Moore, Alfred Beichu, and Kulsum Khan. Are there others? And we remember those whose faith is known to thee alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief but life eternal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You are now invited to offer your own intercessions and thanksgivings.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Rejoicing in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God, to thee, O Lord our God. O Lord Jesus Christ, thou, good shepherd of the sheep who camest to seek the lost and to gather them into thy fold, have compassion on those who have wandered from thee, Feed those who hunger, cause the weary to lie down in thy pastures, bind up those who, those who are broken in heart, and strengthen those who are weak, and lead us all, O Lord, in the paths of righteousness, for thy name's sake. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith, and make your humble confession unto Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith come unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the word of God to all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten to save sinners. So if anyone should sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the perfect offering for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and with thy spirit. Peace. What follows is the Lord's Supper. This is God's feast for all of God's people. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, please know that you are warm, always welcome at God's table. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, for through thy goodness we have this bread to offer which earth hath given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. O God, who most wonderfully didst create and yet more wonderfully restore the dignity of humanity, by the mixing the mystery of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of him who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, for through thy goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. I will 
will wash my hands in innocence with the joy I lay on the sing songs of thankfulness. The Mass this morning is offered to the glory of God in thanksgiving for all his many blessings. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice of yours and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at my hands to the praise and, benefit, and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. God of loving care, who spreadest before us the table of life and givest us the cup of salvation to drink. Keep us always in the fold of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Shepherd. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty to glorify thee, O Father, and to give thanks unto thee. For thou alone art God, living and true, dwelling in light and accessible from before time and forever. Fountain of life and source of all goodness, thou hast made all things and didst fill them with thy blessing, creating them to rejoice in the splendor of thy radiance. Countless throngs of angels stand before thee to serve thee night and day. And beholding the glory of thy presence, they offer thee unceasing praise. Joining with them and giving voice to every creature under heaven, we praise thee and glorify thy name, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We acclaim thee, Holy Lord, glorious in power, whose mighty works reveal thy wisdom and love. Thou hast formed us in thine own image, giving the whole world into our care, that in obedience unto thee, our Maker, we might rule and serve all thy creatures. When our disobedience took us far from thee, thou didst not abandon us to the power of death, but in thy mercy thou didst come to our help that in seeking thee we might find thee. Again and again thou didst call us into covenant with thee, and through the prophets thou didst teach us to hope for salvation. Thou didst so love the world, O Father, that in the fullness of time thou didst send thine only begotten Son to be our Savior. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor he proclaims the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful joy. That thy purpose might be fulfilled, he gave himself up unto death, and rising from the grave he destroyed death and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer unto ourselves, but unto him who died for us and rose again, he sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift for those who believe to complete his work in the world, bringing to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by thee, his heavenly Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them he took bread. And when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me, my Lord and my God. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins, as oft as ye shall drink it. Do this in remembrance of me, my Lord and my God.
And now, O Father, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and his descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to thy right hand, awaiting his coming in glory, and offering unto thee from the gifts which thou hast given us this bread and this cup. We praise thee and we bless thee. We praise thee, we bless thee, we give thanks to thee, and we pray to thee, O Lord our God. We beseech thee, O Lord, that in thy goodness and mercy, thy Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and revealing them as holy gifts for thy holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant that all who share this bread and this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of thy name. Remember, O Lord, thy one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the body and blood of Christ. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. And grant that we may find our inheritance with the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, with patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all the saints who have found favor with thee in ages past. We praise thee in union with them, and give thee glory through thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ. All honor and glory be unto thee, Almighty Father, and God and Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who taketh away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Since you cannot receive the Blessed Sacrament physically, you are invited to receive Jesus spiritually by making an act of spiritual communion. Please join in the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. 
I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace thee as though thou wert already there, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate of the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. O Good Shepherd, look thou after us with care, and make the flock acquired by the blood of thy Son, Enjoy eternally the green meadows of thy kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>